You're over there looking like the Sith Lord. All right, here we go. Three questions for you, sir. One, did the college football playoff committee get it right? Two, are the Falcons in big trouble? Three, do you have any kind words for John Sherholtz? Yes, they got it right. It's about body of work. If you believe what they say, Ohio State had a better body of work, even though they didn't win their conference, so that's a yes. Uh, question number two, what do you take positive out of the Falcons? Despite it all, still tied for first place, and I think they have an easier schedule down the stretch than the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have. And John Sherholtz, 50 years ago, he's a teacher in Baltimore. He decides to write the Orioles. They respond. The rest, as they say, is history. Congratulations, sir on being a member of the Baseball Hall of Fame, well-deserved. Cogent, precise, very definitive on his opinions. Mr. Domino, on the Dr. Pepper bike. Yes, sir. Uh, three questions for you. Mm -hmm. One, did the college football committee get it right? Are the Falcons in big trouble? And do you have any kind words for John Sherholz? All right, let's make this short and sweet. There is no right when it comes to picking four teams subjectively. Oh. So there is no right, there is no wrong. They just did what they did. Uh, the Atlanta Falcons, there's not a positive coming out of this. I heard Nick say that they're still in first place. And I guess that's really good news, 12 games into any season. The problem is you're either ticking up or you're ticking down. I think after yesterday, you can actually say they're ticking down. Uh, Mr. Sherholz, look, I've been around the man for a long time, 23 years. He's been nothing but really classy to me and the organization and the championships with Kansas City here in Atlanta. When you're the first person to do something in the history of baseball, it's supposed to be duly noted. This is the big duly noted. He's going into the Hall of Fame. He much deserves it. He and his family, I hope they're going to have a great week celebrating. And then leading up to that, I hope the Braves fans and the Braves organization enjoys. Sherholtz in 17, Chipper Jones in 18. It's going to be a really good run. It's been a, a nice stay in Cooperstown for a bunch of Braves fans with a couple of more to come. And you've blown a wrap-up question. We were going to use uh, when's the last time you've been on a bicycle. And now you can say Monday, uh, December the 5th. Monday, December the 5th, 2016 was the last time I was on a bicycle. All right, one for me. It's just this simple. College football playoff has to put together compelling games. They've done that, so they got it right. Two, the Falcons are not in big trouble, but they're in trouble. They have four games left. They're going to win two of them. They're going to beat the Rams, and they're going to beat the 49ers. What happens in the yes, uh, in the rest of the division, we'll have to see that play out. And thirdly, John Sherholtz, a lot of people are Braves fans because of what you helped put together in the 90s. It's been a great run. Congratulations on the Hall of Fame.